Well, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese spoke again last night at a speech at the Australia Institute about the need for... It was actually a speech to the Australian Industry Group about the need for China to lift its remaining trade sanctions against Australia. And all those points hold true for Australian wine, Australian lobster and some of our beef exporters as well, where there are still trade impediments in place. We want to see all of these impediments removed in the best interests of everyone. And I'll certainly be taking the opportunity to make that point when I next have the chance with me to meet with President Xi. So Trade Minister Don Farrell also spoke about this on Sunday Agenda. Everything's been heading in the right direction since uh, I met with uh, my counterpart back in, back in May. But there's still more work to be done. We, we want to get wine back in. We want to get lobsters back in. Uh, a number of Australian uh, uh, meat producers can't get their products in. So there's still more work to be done. It's a busy few months ahead for the PM with a lot of overseas travel at a time where he's not as in the ascendancy poll-wise as he was earlier in the year. Have a look at the schedule. After the AOP National Conference this week, we have a trip to the G20 in India, where the PM is expected to meet President Xi of China again, amongst other world leaders. Then we have the referendum on an Indigenous voice to Parliament. The most likely date for that is October 14, is the consensus. If the PM cops a loss in that referendum, he can immediately change subject with his state visit to the White House from October 23 to 26. Then there's an APEC summit in San Francisco in November. And quite probably that trip to China we've been waiting for also in November. All of these visits could be argued as unavoidable, but I'm sure they could lead to the PM copping flack for being overseas quite a lot again, particularly with the nation still feeling a cost of living crunch. Well, we had wages figures out today showing they actually slightly slowed in growth. The annual increase is 3.6%. The growth for the quarter is 0.8%. That's probably actually good news for inflation. I'll talk to Workplace Relations Minister Tony Burke about this in a moment.